Also, if you're wondering what kind of highlighter um, product I am using, it's called O2 Ashley. Um, it just naturally comes, you know, when it's super hot outside or because you don't have AC upstairs in your room. So you get this flawless natural highlight. Isn't it beautiful? I know. I'll make sure to put the link in the bio. Hey darlings, my name is Ashley and welcome back to my channel. And today I am bringing you another DIY. I hate to say this kids, but literally in like two and a half months, we are going to go back to school. Which means if you are a college student, it is time to buy things for your dorm room and become more broke than you are. Luckily for me, I inherited my mother's, my dear mother's crafty side. So if you're a broke bee like me um, and you don't really have a whole lot of money to spend on room decor, I have got the perfect thing for you. Drum roll please, I have no idea what that was, but today we will be making dun -dun -dun -dun, DIY designer candles. You may be wondering, Ashley, my college does not allow candles. What's wrong with you? Yes, 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 very true. Most colleges will not allow you to burn candles for a very good reason because us uh, teenagers, young adults, do like to burn things down for some odd reason. But these candles are specifically for decor only. Yes, I did get the real wax, but I'm not going to be lighting them. They're literally, like I said, just for decor to look very fancy and cute. So here we go. How to make a super cute, super affordable, DIY designer candle. Alrighty, step number one, you are just gonna wanna pick out the logos you want, put them in a Word document so you can size them to perfectly fit your candles. You are now going to cut a piece of parchment paper that's just gonna be a little bit smaller than the principal paper because you do not want to get your printer jammed with this, <laughs> like how I did. Secure the corners with tape. Make sure before you stick the piece of printed paper back into the printer that the parchment is facing down. Easiest up of them all, print it out. If karma wants to be in a pain in your butt today and it smudges, you're unfortunately just gonna have to redo it. Lovely. Footage of me repeating the steps once again. Alrighty, now that we're done with that, we are just going to cut off the logos that are on the parchment. Am I playing with scissors? I don't know, but don't do it. <laughs> now with a clear glue stick, you are just going to put some glue on back of the logo and place it on the candle. Repeat, repeat. Alrighty, you're just going to cut out a piece of wax paper. Now it has to be wax paper and you're just going to wrap it around the candle as tightly as you can. And then you're going to secure it with a piece of tape. Voila! Righty onto the fun part. So you are just going to take your trusty hair dryer and you are just going to blow onto the logo on the highest setting. I would say that definitely worked the fastest and you're going to do this for about one to two minutes. If you're one of those people going, oh no, my logo is melting, it's turning black. Well, I'm here to reassure you that that is exactly what you want to happen. You are just going to keep blow drying the crap out of the logo until it turns that dark black color because that means that the ink is seeping into the wax and that's how it dyes it. So keep on blow drying it. You got this girl. It's going to look so cute. Alrighty, time for the big reveal. So you are just going to carefully take off the parchment paper, making sure you leave this to dry just for about a minute so the wax isn't super melted. And voila, it is done. Masterpiece. So these are all three of the candles done. They turned out absolutely gorgeous. I am so happy with them. They look so luxurious and they are going to look so cute on my desk at college. There you have it, kids. How to make a designer DIY candle for under 15 bucks. This project only cost me $11 in total, and that is including the candles and the wax paper. I mean, you really can't get any better than that. 
So if you guys would like to see any more designer DIYs or DIYs in general, please comment down below your ideas and subscribe for more content if you like watching my videos. And please also like and share this video. Happy crafting, my darlings. I love you to the moon and back. And bye bye